Today's topic is swollen ankles and swollen feet. Swollen ankles and swollen feet are conditions characterized by abnormal distension of the ankles and feet. The bones of the ankle and foot form the distal region of the lower limb. These bones are responsible for balance and support of the body's weight through many activities, such as walking, running, standing, and jumping. Swollen ankles and swollen feet are common and usually not a cause for concern, particularly in cases of minor injury. However, ankles and feet that stay swollen or are accompanied by other symptoms could be signs of a serious underlying health problem that requires prompt medical attention. Causes Here are some of the reasons why a person's ankle and feet may appear swollen. Trauma to the ankle or foot. The most common is a sprained ankle. Pregnancy. This swelling is due to increased pressure on the veins and fluid retention. Preeclampsia. A serious pregnancy complication in which high blood pressure and protein develop after the 20th week of pregnancy or immediately after birth. Edema. Alcohol. Venous insufficiency, a condition in which blood inadvertently moves up from the legs and feet up to the heart. Infection. People with diabetic neuropathy and other nerve problems of the feet have an increased risk of infection affecting their feet. Blood clots. Lymphedema, a condition in which lymphatic fluid gathers in the tissues as a result of problems with the lymph vessels. Heart disease or heart failure. Kidney disease liver disease such as cirrhosis, lifestyle factors such as wearing ill-fitting shoes, having a sedentary life, walking or standing for long periods, obesity, certain medications including antidepressants, steroids, medications to help manage diabetes, birth control pills, calcium channel blockers that help control blood pressure, nutritional deficiencies, bone and tendon conditions, Hormonal imbalance. Seek immediate medical attention if swollen ankle and feet is accompanied by chest pain, a pressure in the chest, shortness of breath, severe headache, upper abdominal pain, nausea, or vomiting or fever. Symptoms. Symptoms depend on the underlying causes and may range from painless increase in foot and ankle size, redness of skin around the swollen area, warm skin around the swollen area, ulceration with pus drainage, achy legs. It is of great importance not to ignore any type of swelling. The European Society of Cardiology in a 2015 report stated that one in five people will develop heart disease, but most don't know that the first two symptoms of heart failure are swelling starting at the feet and moving up through the ankles. Diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosis is made by clinical observation and examination. During diagnosis, the doctor will ask questions about swelling to obtain specific information and to determine the underlying cause of the swelling. The physical examination will include inspection of the swollen area for texture, tenderness, pain, heat, and pitting. The doctor will take your body temperature and weight and listen to your heart and lungs. Laboratory tests are usually not used to diagnose the condition. However, they may be ordered in some patients to help diagnose underlying causes. An X-ray, sonogram, CT scan, MRI, or electrocardiogram may be needed. Treatment Treatment options usually depend on the underlying cause of the swelling. In some cases, elevating feet above the heart, soaking the feet in cold water, drinking plenty of water, eating a healthy diet, and reducing salt intake, losing weight, Massaging the feet or getting off of the feet regularly may help reduce or eliminate swelling. In other cases, treating the underlying cause of swelling may include a splint or wrap for a sprain, antibiotics for infections, blood thinning medications for blood clots, medication and medical devices to help support the heart, dialysis or kidney transplant or surgery. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.